Hello, welcome back to episode 27 of Limbus Company. <laughs> this is the Mycopolis Gaming Channel, and last episode we entered, or, on, or are on the border of entering, uh, Kellogg's Corporation's nest. Whoa, this is a fucking long one. Well, maybe it's been, I feel like we're spoiling ourselves a little bit. Um, Not really, we already saw part of that in the Mirror Dungeon. Yeah, but you might have, maybe you could have forgotten, and that just reminded you of that. It didn't. I remember the fucking end well, quote. Maybe I didn't want to be. Maybe I wanted to forget and be surprised by it. Is that where you burned yourself? Oh yeah, yeah. It's it's healing slightly now. I don't remember if I said this, but I burned. You did. You showed your entire hand on camera. Oh uh, yeah. I accidentally hit. Uh... Right, well, for people that may may or may not have watched it up that episode, I was making something in the oven. And I was using, um, not mitts, but you know the, like the square pieces of cloth or whatever that you yeah. just put your hand on. When I was taking my hand out, it was that like fucking, uh, like 430 degrees. I hit the top rack, and I was like, oh! <laughs> but yeah, it's doing fine now. It blistered was a little. Was the food okay? The food was fine. You didn't drop it. I didn't drop it. No, well, I I would. It had, I was placing it in and taking my hands out, so I had already let go of it. Mm. But yeah, it only blistered a little bit, but the rest of it, it's pretty much healing up now. Well, that's good. It didn't hurt that much afterwards either. Um, the line's moving quickly. I'll be a uh, bed. Eh. It'll be our turn in about ten minutes at most. <laughs> when all thirteen of us need to answer immigration questions. They won't be able to understand Manager Dante, so what should we do? Ishmael seemed to have a habit of speaking quickly and being more inquisitive when she got anxious. I was just about to get to that. Listen up. God, thought he was done. Listen up. The K Corp official will not, will only ask very simple questions to the passengers in this line. And your answers will be similarly concise. When the border official asks about the nature of your visit, Violence. Say, I'm here for business on the behalf of Limbus Company. Please refer to my work, please. Remember this exact phrase so that you can recite it word for word. They're not going to recite it word for word. I'll take care of the rest, so you just have to prove that you weren't, you aren't here to cause trouble. If even memorizing that is too much of a burden for you, I suggest that you keep your mouth shut. You can present your employee card instead. Keep quiet and don't cause trouble. Easiest tasks in the world. I think <laughs> Not these bunch of fucking remarks. misfits. I was worried that Faust might rat me out, but thankfully, Virgilius was idly staring off into space, sparing me from sca his scathing commentary. No, next up. If you have a question, make sure to first ask yourself if it's actually meaningful. And quietly raise your hand. Several hands were lifted, including mine. Rodion. Since this trip is for business, we can carry our weapons, yeah? Correct. Next. Dante's like, what the fuck did you call me? <laughs> Don't you say me, you little bitch! You just uh, feel like a fucking just freeze frame him just punching her in the face, causing the entire ruckus. Next time you try, next time you die, I'm not dragging your ass back from hell. Then Craig's creepy crawly arm and Dante, Don, Dante, Dante's chichi uh clockhead are getting a pass too. <laughs> 
That should be the case. For your reference, our manager's head counts as a prosthetic rather than a weapon, which means it'd be approved even if what we had were a tourist visa. Powers to revive notwithstanding. Ishmael took the role of a model student and answered in Virgilius's stead. It feels like something changed about Ishmael's attitude since the casino job. She seems to have decided to take matters into her own hands after I betrayed her expectations of my capabilities as a leader. And she is not wrong to assume such. <laughs> Precisely. Gregor and I put our hands down at the same time. That was my stomach, I apologize. Stomach's a little rumbly there, buddy. It was. And Ryoshu, put out your cigarette before you speak. I didn't raise my hand. Virgilius was doing his best to ignore Don Quixote's arm stretched skyward. Don Quixote's just there vibrating caved wing. And gave the woman with an adamantly raised hand the chance to speak. Don Quixote. Mochi. I got his eyes. All right. Don Quixote. What is it? For what purpose doth the, that barrier of glass serve? Following Don Quixote's finger, our attention was drawn to the glass walls. Walls stood in the middle of the building. On the other side this of this one. Yes. The other side of that clear dividing wall bodies were countless people waiting in line. That line is slow to a crawl. People are sat on people are sat on the floor waiting for it to move. Hmm. Looks like they've been Excuse here me. for quite some time. <laughs> There I are always many stand armed guards as well. Three times as many compared to this side. Homer saw they're being very vocal. Most of the glass walls you find inside buildings are there for safety reasons. Mm. Well, simply put, that line's for Backstreet's foot. Back, Backstreet? That, Backstreet's back, all right. Each nest handles immigration differently, but... <laughs> but wherever it may be, it's super duper hard to get into another nest without a proper visa. Why'd you think those bullies jumped us on the way to the checkpoint? They wanted our visa so they could enter the nest. Problem we are not in our power to resolve. I was just looking at this dude. Yeah. It looks like he's carrying a gun, but it looks more like a baton. It looks like he's carrying a baton like a gun. You see what I'm you see what I mean? Yeah. I get what you're saying. Like it just looks like a like a barrel. It is a baton. Yeah, right. Because you can tell because it says "keep out." Or maybe maybe yeah. the reason he's holding that is because they're trying to portray him as if he's like directing people. Yeah. He's like go this way or something. Like oh that. yeah, I get which. However, that answer didn't satisfy Don Quixote. Whether it was a fault of the gloomy yet oppressive atmosphere of the area beyond the wall, or the disturbance happening in there, I couldn't say. Manager, it's our turn now. Oh right. Our line moved at such a quick pace, we barely had time to chat before it was our turn to answer the official's question. This is going to go horribly wrong. Remember, when you're asked about the purpose of your visit... Ooh. Tasty. Remind me one more time and I'll show Sangria to you and the official or whatever. Despite Ishmael's worries, our inspection was smooth sailing. Oh. That's surprising. Please state your official, your affiliation and purpose of visit. Ah. ah. I've come from Limbus Company on business. Here's my employee card. I'll check that out next. Radian! <laughs> Limbus Company, business reasons. Take a look at my card and all that. <laughs> Just looks. I'll check out next. After our first sinner proved who we work for, it was a breeze for the rest of us. The official asked the same question in the same dry tone. Took a, 
cursory glance at our faces and employee cards, though based on their speed it seemed more like a customary gesture rather than a look over, then let each sinner pass. Something's amiss over there. The glass wall standing between us and them was thick enough to block out sound. It was hard for us to tell what was going on through the wall. Oh. Oh god. However, I could see what was happening unambiguously. Someone with cuffed hands was being dragged away by security. A small child was crying next to them. Kind of looks clearly they, scared and confused. They spilled ketchup all over their face. We shouldn't bother. I don't know what happened, but I guess someone broke a taboo. <laughs> Yeah, sure. Those impoverished vandals and their audacity to break the taboo of not stuffing enough cash in the right people's pockets, am I right? Are you mocking me right now? Huh? What? I thought you didn't care. Guess someone's knickers are in a twist. I'm not wearing knickers. While well, I was distracted by Heathcliff <laughs> loudly celebrating his first successful tease on Ishmael, our usual suspect sprang forth at her least expected moment yet again. Stop! Please state Don't your do it. and purpose of visit. You had one job. I am I am come? I am come. I have come to liberate the weak and powerless. An emotional is expressed for the first time at the checkpoint official's face. Flabber gas station. They looked up and don't keep updated with a face screaming that it was flabbergasted. <laughs> Release them at once. Can you not see that they are suffering? So so You Fuck. <laughs> Why am I stuck with the crazy ones? Please state your affiliation and purpose you, you're of visit. The, crazy the official one. ignored her demand and parroted the same question. All the while, Don Quixote was getting more upset by the minute. And then, in looking through the transparent wall again, I saw a desperate child mouth a scream at the man dragged away in handcuffs. Jack. This motherfucker threw her spear. Father. I was just waiting for Virgilius to be in the background. His eyes were just glowing. If you are unwilling to take action, then I shall myself. Code purple. Code purple. Code purple. Code purple. Code purple. Code purple. Violation of taboo K185 on site. Code purple. Code purple. Requesting thrombocyte units. Repeat, requesting thrombocyte units. Veering away from- He didn't say three. units. He just said thrombocyte. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Veering away from inquiry. Like a broken record, the official spoke an intimidating mean response to the radio. Thrombocyte, Lucasite. Uh, biology cells. That's what I was thinking. Or, uh, from your immune system. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. Maybe they're types of white blood cells or something. Yeah, you read. I'll look it up. Shit that defends against germs. <clears throat> Attention, all personnel. Code purple. Code purple. Circulation hall 2. Inspection booth 14. Thrombocyte. Leukocyte. Blaring sirens accompanied the perplexing announcement. All the while, thick metal gates shut around us. <sighs> so, thrombocyte mm -hmm. is a platelet. A what? A platelet. Ah. And leukocyte is a colorless cell that circulates in the blood and body fluids, and it is involved in con counteracting foreign substances and disease. A white blood cell. That's what uh, I said. Yes, that's a leukocyte. Should have smashed her skull and carried her in a set body sack. I've forgotten everything I learned from cells at work. 
I doubt that would have made much of a difference. Well, Trombo, Luco, I believe they refer to platelets and white blood cells respectively. Trombone, leukemia. Trump. It must be them. Bidding for Kellogg's Corporation, I'd say. Looking in the direction of Faust indicator, we all saw what she meant. Security forces wearing menacing uniforms were staring at us. Fucking dog. I mean, if they have shit that has to do with the body, it really might be Kellogg's Corporation. Hmm, yeah, you might be right. This is gonna be interesting. Yeah, it'll be fine. Yeah. I was expecting Virgilius to say something. Oh, well, I've he might... gotten used to this sort of situation, but it looks pretty serious. <sighs> Indeed. We violated a taboo of the wing, after all. It's not like anyone was hurt. Can't we just talk this through? Faust looks straight into my face. For Faust to face someone directly when she usually stares in the empty space as she speaks can only indicate one thing. I must have said something incredibly frustrating. <laughs> can only mean one thing. That what I said was stupid enough that she overcame her autistic tendencies to look me straight in the eye. <laughs> I mean, she has those. You don't think so? No. People people will say will, will, will also say that I've seen it. No. Okay, thanks for fucking just not go along with my shit. I'm gonna Sun Saitara, Tesana Chigonda. No matter the wing, infringement of a taboo means. The explosion left Don Quixote dismembered where she stood. That lethal measures can be taken against the violator without warning. Looks like border control isn't willing to forgive us until they dismember the rest of the sinners. Armed security staff was surrounding us on all sides. <laughs> You never cease to surprise me. You managed to bring out the last drop of expectation I had left for you. Virgilius is about to murder Don Quixote. I'm keeping out, pin the whole thing on her, or take responsibility, or whatever. I thought you'd accompany us to handle situations that our manager can't alone. I came with you to take care of inevitable problems, not having a pissing session in the wind. Virgilius casually pushed his way through the line of armed guards and leaned against a wall. He then crossed his arms as if to further drive home that he'll remain a spectator. Huh. Well, I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, interesting. Well, no one's, um, Good job, buddy. Yeah, he really did it. Yeah, they are bats. Or not bats, but batons, rather. Yes. They look a bit thicker here than they did in the illustration. 
They also heal every five seconds. Huh. Yeah, that shouldn't be a problem. We just kill them before they heal. You just hack them. I'll move for the fucking save. Mm -hmm. yeah. Fuck. Just thank you. Mm, that's fine. It's got four more dudes to worry about, you know. Nail these men. Why is there? Is that wrong? <laughs> Not wrong, is it? <clears throat> They're not dying, they're just running away. Ah uh, yes, body sack. The thing that we should have put Don Quixote in. As mentioned before. Huh. Damn. Yep. Low morale. Yeah, I wonder why. Oh my god, we have so many fucking shits. Blam, blam. That armor ain't bulletproof, bitch. Damn. Sometimes he puts on the helmet and sometimes he has it off, and I'm curious as to what decides that. Really just gonna watch from there? Have you noticed that? Yeah. It's interesting. You won't sway me with that look, manager. What do you mean? What do you mean that look? I don't have facial expressions! I'm nothing more than a guide that none pay heed to. It would be imp impertinent of me to brandish my weapon. Uh, oh. So it is Kellogg's corporate. <laughs> yes. Weld metal one final time. K Corp's singularity takes the form of healing bullets that restore most wounds in the blink of an eye. So that one Overwatch character. Yep. I suppose it could be compared to the ability of yours. Hey, wait. Completely ignoring my feeble plea. Not that they could hear, K Corp security guards closed in on us. Well. We're dead. This is an issue. Hmm. We're dead. I just thought, well, maybe not dead, but captured. No, I'm dead. On site. Oh, I mean, yeah. <laughs> We're both. Alright, we'll leave this here. You don't want to, just, you don't want to do one more? No, we already hit the 20 minute mark. We goody two shoes right now. I just thought maybe we could stick, in, stick one more story scenario in. We'll hit it on Tuesday. Okay. Alright. Well, thank you very much for watching. That was interesting. Uh, totally 100% expected that to happen. Um, Same. I actually expected it to be Sinclair. Freaking out. Oh, that's possible. No, I fully expected it to be Don Quixote. Uh, myself. Um, but, uh, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. If you would like to, please... Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. You don't have to, but it would help us out. And you can also ring that ding old bell. And we also have Discord in the description. You can join that. It's a good community there. Oh, we were supposed to do this. Yeah, we'll do it some other time. Yeah. We'll do it in the next episode. Yeah, yes. And um, we also have a coffee if we would like to donate to that. It would help us out. Thank you very much if you do. But you don't have to. And as always, thank you very much for yes. watching. Bye, everyone. Stay safe. Have a good night.
Have a day and good one. And remember, perish. Um, Kellogg's Corporation, don't fuck around. No, it does not. When you break glass, they stick water in your ass. <laughs>